Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. School sometimes can be overwhelming with a whole mountain high of information. Juggling with all the knowledge, you can sometimes get tangled in your thoughts and having a hard time absorbing all the content. Which brings Scrindle to prevent scattered thinking and completely change the way you organize your information and study. And they just came out with their Playground of the Mind update a few days ago. I was able to try it out and today I'll give you an introduction and tutorial on how it works. Whether you're a student, a creative thinker, or just someone that loves to stay organized, Scrindle helps you capture your ideas visually in ways that regular note-taking can't. So let's dive in. I'm going to first show you the default desk from the Scrindle update. So when you open the dashboard, this is basically your desk and it's kind of like your digital desk space instead. It's your personal space and you can structure it any way you like as it says here. You can create a text block anywhere and you can add and add a block. You can style new blocks, arrange and merge blocks and turn the blocks into a doc. So this is the Scrindle default dashboard. I just wanted to show you guys so you can kind of see where some of the things that you can do if you're new to Scrindle. And this is my actual notes. And this is with the latest update from Scrindle, the Playground of the Mind, a new canvas. And I do have my old pharmacology notes with the old canvas. And I'm going to show you guys some of the differences so you can compare. So this is what the new canvas looks like. So in the old version, you can see all of the icons are on the left, the shortcuts. This is the toggle plan. This is the create board. And we have undo and redo. This is just add. When you click on it, you can see this whole list. There's doc, board, daily doc, text, columns, and then web link and all of that. And on the right, you can see the links. So these are all of my links. And you can also see, you can see all of the links and they can also expand in case there are further ones. This is kind of the interface. My images are kind of loading, but this is one of my old pharmacology lectures. And I'm gonna show you the newer Scrindle canvas. So this is now my most recent pharmacology notes and with the new canvas. And as you can see, the um, sidebar is now on the bottom. So it's no longer on the left side, it's on the bottom. And it looks a little bit different as well. It's a little bit renewed. There's the select tool as well as the drag tool. There's the create a new block. Create a new block and you can click anywhere on the board to place the block. So I'm gonna place it here. And this is basically your new block. There's also the draw connector feature is basically any two blocks that you have, you can use the draw connector to connect them together. And this is obviously not connected. So let me just delete that and create a new doc. You can create a doc within the board. So this is my board and currently I don't have any docs. Yep, I don't have any docs and you can add a new doc and it can just also be expanded you can just open the doc on its own and it can be expanded to the full screen so if you have notes that you would like to put into a separate document this is the good way but it will still show up on your whole mind map and your whole board in scrindle so this is a doc i currently don't have any of them for this note in particular and then create a new board so this is a board and you can add new boards. You can create a board within a board. So this is really helpful. For example, if you have a huge subject and you can add sub boards into the subject to describe or explain different topics a little more, which is good for studying and having everything together. And next is add from library. So if you have any other boards that you would like to add to this, you can also add it to the library. So even if you had separate boards, you can still add them and connect them later on. So if you would like to do that and add all blocks. So this is, this is an add feature where you can add all kinds of blocks from Scrindle. And there's so many different types. There's text, web link, and ordered list pdf heading and you can see there is like all of these things and in particular ones that i want to talk about is the task list this is something i really like basically you can make to do so i have like lecture one and lecture two that i want to do i like this and i can add more blocks in below so i can just 
explain dot 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 so I can add more text underneath and I can add more blocks as well and another feature I like is the board feature we already talked about but also the file so add a new file and um, this is upload a file there's also the PDF version if it's a PDF you can actually open it and have the PDF on the side so let's just add that if it's a PDF, you can actually open it on the side while like I look at all of this. So I think this is a really handy feature and to use. So like just to have your PDF around when you're like looking at your notes and etc. And you can also have more than one PDFs. If you have multiple lectures, etc., you can all add them to the same board. And this canvas is an infinite canvas, so you can add as many things as you like. The next feature is explore templates. So if you have an empty board, you can use the explore templates. So there's the mind mapping. So right here, see, I am adding two different sections to this one board. So if you have multiple lectures that are interconnected really closely, you can add them like side by side, but with different styles so you can tell them apart. And so this is a mind map. So the overview of ideas, your key concepts, your subtopics. So these are some of the Scrindle templates. So there's also meeting notes, daily notes, mind mapping, your roadmap, your journal entry. And there's also like many different types of the timeline, monthly planner or weekly planner, Cornell notes. And this is great if you want to like take notes during class. You can add your different modules, the cues, the text, etc. And you can make these longer and um, move them around. You can drag and rearrange your text and as well as make it wider, etc. So it's very customizable. These are some of the notes that I've created. So basically this is like a learning outcome and I decide to highlight it yellow. I basically rearrange it into its different connections and then I have the different types of drug re reactions, the examples. I have the different types of drug reactions. So this is the select tool and this is the drag tool. If you want to drag anything, you can do it like this and, and I have it all interconnected, the drug phase reactions. Altogether, this is just better for visualization and you have these interconnected links and you can zoom in and out. For your notes, you can use the select tool and double click to see the image better and you can have this image around. This can just be around and I can just keep these around to refer it to other things that are interconnected to it while having it big so I can see what it is very clearly. This is a complete new canvas from Scrindle for their Playground of the Mind Lounge. So I like how in Scrindle you can drag and place things where you want them to be. Another feature is you can click any of the text in your document and pull it out. Scrindle basically combines the freedom of a canvas with the power of dynamically reusable documents. It can allow you to brainstorm everything. You can shift and move the ideas around, making it really flexible and a really good tool to express your ideas and represent them visually. It really makes me feel comfortable and at ease when I'm using Scrindle. So I definitely recommend it's very playful. It allows you to really easily shape things and add more details to a certain idea or pull things apart and then add them together. It's really a playground of the mind. It's like Lego. You can extract one block into another and add and build on each one. These are the blocks and boards are basically canvases and you can add new boards and new boards. They are entirely new and you can link them together by adding it from your library, especially if your projects are interconnected or your notes are interconnected. It's a great way to organize everything. So if you want to visually organize your notes as a student and have everything together, or if you're not a student and wants to have your thoughts scattered together and format things in a really organized visual fashion, then Scrindle is for you. And I'll link Scrindle down below so you can check it out. And thank you to Scrindle for sponsoring this video. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.